We have reports of Omicron in 38 countries in all six WHO regions, and we do see increasing trends in Omicron in South Africa. So there is a suggestion that there is increased transmissibility. What we need to understand is if it's more or less transmissible compared to Delta. The Delta variant is still dominant worldwide. That's important to keep in mind. So we need to see how Omicron compares with Delta when they're both circulating in the population at the same time. So it'll take a few more days you know, for us to get that information, and we're grateful for that research that's ongoing. Now this variant has a number of mutations, a large number of mutations, some of which we know a little bit about because these same mutations have been identified in other variants. And there's other research that has been done, for example, with alpha, with beta, with gamma, with delta. And so we have some clues that we may uh, have some reduced efficacy of vaccines, but we don't have that information yet, and it will take a week or two or three to get that. And we need science, we need the scientists to have a little bit more time before we have that answer.